hey guys welcome back to my channel so this video is about how to install qt and visual studio 2022 in your pc so let's get into it first i'm gonna open my browser that is google chrome and i'm gonna type qt there's a link called www.qt.io and you can just go to the main website using this so once you're into the main website you can just directly go to the right side of the corner where there is a link or a button called download try so you can just click click on that button so once you click it will drag you or navigate to another website so once this website is open you can just scroll down and you can find downloads for open source users okay so click on go to open sources so once you click on that so it will go to another page where you can download the installer so you can just scroll down so once you scroll down you will get a file you will get a button called download the online qt installer so once you click on that you will have a download button in the right side corner that is left side corner so once you click on that the installer file will start downloading so once the file is downloaded go to the the, the installed file installed location that is a file install location so and just double click on the file so once the installer is running so it will ask you for a login account so you need to have a proper qt account for this one so just you can just go to the qt account your qt login and you can create an account using your google account just like creating a normal google account once you created that note down your password and email user id and just put the values over here and you can just click next so it will automatically come and you should have also have a stable wi-fi for this to work so once the loading is done you can just click here uh, the checkbox that is i have read the agreements and i have individual and do's and don'ts that's all so once you check both the once you check both the boxes and click next once you click next it will check for the files that are needed for the installation then it will ask you this buttons that is it will ask you you want to help us or disable you can just click anything and click next so this is the part where it gets crucial so first you have to check uh, if you have the storage capacity in c folder that it requires nearly a 5 gb to 10 gb 10 gb for installation and you should have a stable wi-fi so this is the first part so second is that if you install in d or e other than c it is better so you can easily find the file when you are loading it into the uh, visual studio 2022 version so that will be explained in the later part of the video so i'm just choosing c so normally i've installed in d so it is your wish but make sure you know the file location that is where you are installing and click and check the box where it shows custom installation so once done click next so once you click next it will take you to a page where you have to select the components that is the versions of the uh, qt so once you go to qt click on the you, know, you can just expand the beta version what is expand the beta version and there is a three files which are mainly important for a qt to run <clears throat> that is msvc 2019 2019 64-bit min once these three files are selected just click on next once you click on next it will ask for the license agreement just click on i have and click next and finally click install don't change anything it will say it will take about 5 gb of the space you should have minimum of 10 gb free space so that you can 10 20 gb so you can nearly 20 gb that is you need to install microsoft visual studio that nearly cost around 10 gb and also this cost 15 gb so minimum you need at least 20 gb to run these ones so once you select everything and click next and click install the installation would start you need a stable wi-fi i'm saying it again you need a stable wi-fi to run these files so once you are done with this you can just go to the other browser that is you can open a new tab and click on microsoft visual studio 2022 that is you can type microsoft visual studio 2022 once you type on that just open the first link that you pop up so once you are opened so there are three you can see the family there are code and visual studio i'm gonna go to code and in code in visual studio i'm gonna choose community so community is a free version for everyone professional and enterprise are the paid versions so once i'm selecting so 
there's gonna be an installation file that is the installer file would be downloaded automatically so once the installer setup is downloaded just go to the setup uh, downloaded location and run the uh, installer so i could just directly run from here so once i'm running it so it'll ask you continue so it'll take a lot certain files to download that is nearly 12 mb Once the files are downloaded, it should it should pop up a window like this. See, actually, there's a minimum of 1.16 GB that needs to be installed for Visual Studio. But using this, you cannot run anything else. That is, you cannot develop or work with Qt. So first, we have to select development with C++ in desktop. That is, there is a uh, workload that is a package called uh, development uh, desktop development with C++. Just check that one. If you need any other uh, any other components like Python or anything, you could just check that and work on that. So all you need is development with C++. That is desktop development with C++. Once you have selected desktop development with C++, you can just go to the install location and you can change that location where you want to download it. I prefer it from D or E. Don't install in C because you are installing in C could uh, build up your workloads and you cannot use your system properly that is it could lag sometimes so I'm gonna go to change and I'm gonna change it to my uh, desired folder so even if you want you can change it to your desired folder that is you can uh, leave it as C so if you don't care so that is your wish so I'm gonna be creating a folder and I'm gonna be installing in that folder so this is how I do it I better you do this one so it is easy and you can just locate it easily so you don't have to search for the files again and again if you need anything once you have selected everything just click on install installation process starts once the installation process is completed for both of them that is Qt and Visual Studio so first I'm gonna show you the display of how Qt based on Qt's framework so Qt is finished as you can see you click on finished so it will pop your readme so you could just close directly and go to start and you can just directly open qt it will automatically open so these are this is how a qt creator would open so mainly this is how a qt creator and you can also you will also be having a qt designer studio where you could use designs so basically this uses the compiler called MinGV so which is going to be used for the compilation of your programs which are you doing in directly from Qt so once you're done uh, once you're done with the installation of Qt and Visual Studio so you can just open Microsoft Visual Studio so open Microsoft Visual Studio as you can see so it'll ask you for the Google account same as Qt you can just log in into your Microsoft account and it'll restart again and you can see this window where it's showing it will take uh, several minutes to load the files once the uh, once it is logged in into my account that is logged into my account so you will get a window like this so in this video if you are already used visual studio qt 2022 uh, so you know how these things work so you could just open a project or you could just continue without a code or you could just create a new project so I'm gonna go with uh, open I'm gonna open some project but that that is not the problem so open any project which you desire or you can just continue without a code so once you are done with this just go to the extensions of the file manage extensions so go to extensions and go to manage extensions in the right side corner you can see a search button in the type Qt so once you type Qt you will be getting two values that is uh, Qt Visual Studio Tools and Qt VS CMake Tools. You have to install, but that is you have to download both of them. So I'm gonna click download. So it's downloading. Okay, once the files are downloaded, you could just close the Visual Studio. Just you could just close. Once you have closed the Visual Studio, there is a window popping up. VIS installer vi v6 installer 
so it'll ask modify cancel just click on modify that is you have to install it from the outside that is you have to install the extension so once you click on modify the installation process starts and you can just click close and you can just go to start and you can just go to start and uh, you know open microsoft visual studio again just type microsoft visual studio and yeah open visual studio okay once the visual studio is open same continue without the code you could just continue without the code or open open a open a project i have a dh algorithm program so i'm just gonna open that or i could just open okay i have open a basic dh program so once i'm done with it as you can see there is a qt vs tools that has been installed in the visual studio 2022 so in this you have to go to the options menu just go to options and once the option is open go to versions as you can see version as you can see there is an empty you have to add the version of the qt that you are using that is the qt which you have installed so click on plus once you click on plus click on the windows uh, explorer button once you click on that so go to the installed file that is where you have installed the qt so i'm i have installed in uh, d folder so that is d qt so once i have installed qt i'm gonna go to 6.4.0 and i'm gonna click on ming G, uh, i'm gonna click on msvc 2019 underscore 16 so just ignore the arm so there is no qmac file in there so as you can see it only selects qmake.exe files so go to qt install files and qt 6.4.0 and click on msvc 2019 underscore 64 once you open that you will find go to bin folder and you can see a qmake.exe file in this so just double click or click open and click ok so scoring. so once you click on ok could just close it and you can just again restart that is you can restart the application just close and again uh, type microsoft visual studio 2022 and you can just open a visual studio okay. once you open this file so as you can see now you can just create a project using qt application so you can just create a qt qt files uh, if you know qt you could just use the qt in visual studio so that is create a project so once you go to create a project there are several platforms so you could just click on on the left side there are three drop down boxes that is you can just click on c++ all platform and select qt that is the project type you have to select qt see as you can see project type you can select qt once you select pro qt there will be several options and you can just select the qt widgets application qt widgets applications is nothing but a basic application which has an inbuilt ui uh, where you can show as a display and you can add buttons and everything for your framework so once you click click next so you can just name your qt to demo qt and click create so you could just change the location of the files from here so just click on location and you can just change the location uh, any place you desire so once you have finished click create so once there is a window that is a pop-up window would pop up so click on next so in this file there is a two uh, two two options that you have been given that is a debug and a release you just select a debug and check the box so once you check the box and there will be a qt models which would not be selected so in my case it is already selected if it is not selected you could just click on qt core and gui and qt widget so these three are the main functions that can be used if you know other than that so if you are an expert in qt and its framework you could just check whatever the models you need for your building for your uh, building framework so i have for me these threes are enough so once i have done with this i'm gonna click ok next so i'm gonna click next as you can see my class name is demo qt that is my main window and there is a ui created so there is a dot h file dot cpp file and a resource file you can see dot qrc file so these are if you want you could just name it or just let it be so once this is done click on the finish button click on the finish button 
once you click finish so as you can see the project is being built up so there is a demo.cpp file open so and you can see there are header files and source file that is a main and a demo qt and uh, in header files you have uh, uh, that is .h file and form you have .ui file when you double click on .ui file you have a pop up window which says qt designer that is as i showed in the earlier video you could just open a qt window from there or you could just you can just use a qt designer window from here so i'm going to click detach so where did it go okay. uh, as you can see uh, there is this file is open that is detach so now i'm going to run the project that is there is a start you could just control b to run the project or you could just build the project and press f5 for shortcut or you could just directly press f5 to build and run the project automatically once you run this there is a window with demo qt and you can see there is a form that is the ui file which i had shown you in the ui so once i click on double click on ui there is a ui that should pop up where did it go so okay, i'm gonna use that yeah okay this uh, qt designer window would open up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a two buttons so one button which says hello and another button says welcome so when i click on that button the other button should show uh, other button should show and once i click on that welcome button so it should automatically uh, you know hide it hide the button so i'm gonna add a push button and says hello so i'm gonna add a push button hello i'm gonna change my font to my desired I'm gonna change my font and font style. So yeah, that is better. So once I've done with that, so I'm gonna add another push button. So it says welcome. So I'm gonna change this font. So same like that, a little bigger than that. And I'm gonna choose something like agency FP, same as hello. So once I'm done with this there are several windows on the top so as you can see this is the layout box so there are the there are uh, signal slot or you can just name label and you can see on the right side there are three rectangle boxes horizontally and vertically those are used to uh, you know vertical your layout or horizontally uh, make your window that is fit the box fit the vertical layout into the buttons that is how these things work so i'm gonna go to the second this is called signals and slot box you just click on that and you could just drag the drag the uh, keyboard that is drag the mouse from hello to the welcome button and it should open a window like this saying okay click uh, and some other uh, the options that is you could just click click on the clicked clicked option that is clicked function okay it's not showing okay just uncheck the button just check the box which says show signals and slots so once you check it there will be several options and you could just click on show that is show function when you click on that it should show so similarly i'm gonna select the welcome to my own what do you call it i'm gonna reverse loop it that is i'm gonna select the select function that is i'm gonna loop it around the welcome button that is called as i'm gonna self loop the button so once i click on self loop click and i'm gonna click hide so once i hide this so i'm gonna control s to save this file I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna go to and run the file. So once I run this file, so there's gonna be yeah, and you can just click on hello welcome button. When I click on that, welcome disappears. When I click on hello button, the welcome button shows. When I click on welcome button, the hell it automatically dis disappears. This is how signals and slots work. Thank you for watching. So if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.